Hey there YouTubers, I'm going to walk you through this Class C by Red Hawk. It has an overhead bunk in the front, sofa, dinette, back to the back bedroom. It has what looks like a queen size bed with a slide, a couple decent windows. It looks kind of nice. Go and check the bathroom. Looks like a decent bathroom. I'm going to get in the shower. I always get in the shower. I'm only 5'10 and not very wide, but I always check showers. There's my feet. You'd be surprised to know how many times you don't fit in a shower well. Check the cabinet. has a good wardrobe cabinet. Makes a Class B owner envious. And the dinette is decent sized. And the sofa is really nice. A sleeper sofa and a good overhead cabin area with no window in the front which I like. The cockpit is nice. Has the slide, the full side. And sorry for moving the camera so fast. $64,000 for the Red Hawk XD. Moving the camera too fast again. Check the refrigerator. There's some information you can pause on if you would like to read it. But it's a decent RV and they have two year warranties, bumper to bumper on these. Good size refrigerator, again, envious for a Class B owner. And it has a three burner stove, but no oven, sadly, but it has a microwave convection. Somebody's saying the front area is too hard to get in. It was a little tight, but I was able to get in okay. But I did notice you can't really move the seats back very far. That's not bad. It's a nice RV overall. If you have to buy new for 64000 I didn't think it was all that bad. We'll go on to the next. Large outside kitchen party area thing, many people like. Not a big deal to me. Not an easy thing to say, but they don't always give a lot of room, so you should really check the toilets to see if you'll fit. Gas and electric. Two way. Sunseek 2860. Pretty much the same layout as the other one. Each brand tends to have a theme regardless of size. As a Class B owner, I'm always worried and fighting with leveling. I noticed that some of the A's and C's did and some didn't have automatic levelers. Spoke to a salesman and he said you can always have that added on later, so that's a good option. I like that these come with a gas oven. 
Some seek uh, 3170, so it's pretty good. And knocking 24 grand off it, 72 grand. Easy step up. Pretty much the same layout as the last one, so it's just longer. It's got some bunks and slide out. No slide out in the back. Where is this? Yes, this is. It's all one side. It's not the same. It's a four wind, 50 grand. This is tighter. Yeah, we both punk. TV. It's on a four chest. I'm not going to give you all of the specs on it. No sofa. This probably converts to a sofa. It's got the corner bed. Which is nice. Bathroom. Separate bath and shower. I guess in a sense you move that table you can sort of make it a sofa. This has zero slides. And that's a four wins, 22E, 50 grand. That's not too bad. It's a E350, dualies, huge storage compartment. Monsterly huge. There's your propane. They don't show anywhere on the list sizes. Here's your power. Nothing but power. You got a generator. A Cummins, 4,000. What's your gas? Sewer connection. There you go, you got your gray and your black. Nothing fancy there. I gotta be honest, I like this one a little bit. At 15 grand, or 50 grand, I think I could do this four wins. Kinda like this. It's my feet. Relatively comfortable mattress. Now I can lay down there and touch side to side so it's not very big. Decent. This could work for one or two. The only thing is you figure out if you can make that into a sofa or not. For me, I would say this Class C, the worst part is, or Class C, the worst part is itty bitty, not very deep sink. You know, it's not even a hand deep and not a lot of counter space. Not any more counter space, probably less counter space than my Class B. Two 12 volt outlets, and one in a glove compartment. If you can call that a glove compartment. In the A series. It's not too bad. It has no front win window on the top, which a lot of people say is a good thing for leaks. If I looked for a used Class C, I would avoid front windows. And, you know, used water, 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 any signs of water, just leave it, find something else. I kind of like this one. If it had a slide, I'd call this one perfect for me if I was ever to change. Got a vent up there, a vent back there for good cross ventilation.
Sometimes this is the best part of the whole RV show. The dealerships have their used things and they have a board on them. And oftentimes you can find something that interests you on the boards. Good values.